guys, I'm Yalin, Xinhua correspondent in Sydney. Last time we talked about the impact of COVID-19 to the normal life of Sydney siders. We talked about the panic buying and the toilet paper. But it seems that, unfortunately, that's just the beginning. Do you see the empty beach behind me? Can you imagine this is Sydney's most iconic Bondi beach? Although the weather is still warm and the sunshine is still very bright, you cannot swim nor surf here because this beach will be closed since this Saturday afternoon. Not only beaches, but also some libraries, restaurants and shops were closed as well. The government also warns that it won't hesitate to lock down more areas of the country to curb the spread of the virus, if that is the medical advice it receives. Some parts of the country, such as Tasmanian and the Northern Territory, have already announced independent lockdowns. The airport is also deserted due to the total travel ban. This is a suburb in Northern Sydney. It is also a regional commercial centre where people live in surrounding areas always come on weekends to do some shopping or dine in a restaurant. But you can see there are fewer people on the street and some of them are wearing masks. This is a very typical oval. Aussie guys are sports lovers and they always play cricket, football or rugby on such kind of oval during the weekend. Due to the spread of the virus, many sports events and activities were cancelled. So when you see people still doing exercises on the oval, it makes you feel that their daily life hasn't been interrupted. And I think it's very good for our body as well. But do remember, we need to practice strict self-hygiene and follow the social distancing rules. We need to carry on our daily life and I believe we can get through.